Hey everybody. So today I just ran across um, about 15 feet of my uh, ACU digital camouflage color here. So I'm going to use that today. And I've got a piece here about four feet of the um, neon orange. And what I'm going to do today is I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a, a Zaxby's commercial with one of the guys from Duck Dynasty in it. And around his um, camouflage gear, he's got something hanging. Um, and it holds all of his duck calls, but I've also seen pictures where fishermen will hook them to their waders And it'll hold like hand sanitizer, it'll hold lures, different bobbers And you can hang and dangle a bunch of stuff from them, but it's kind of cool And I'm going to show you how to make one of those today So, to get started, what I need to do is I need to fuse these ends together to give me a continuous loop So, we just take our lighter, heat both ends up, and stick them together and roll them between your fingers and then around that, you could do any kind of design around your inner strands. Um, but to make it easy and quick, I'm just going to do the regular old Solomon. Just got to get these melted here. And put these together. And you can watch me burn myself. This one looks like it's extra melty. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, that's not too bad. I've lost a lot of feeling in my finger and thumb because I do that so much. Uh, that's not quite there yet. I bet I could get it to work if I just squeezed it down a little harder. There we go. That should be good. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to create your loop but you want to have your joint in the middle so that you don't see it. And what you're going to end up having on each end, you're going to have a loop right here. And th these loops basically will be what you hang it on. So if you've got a pair of overalls, you just put your overalls through these loops and then, and then clip them on. Or you can put these around different buttons on your outer, outerwear gear. Um, but uh, now what we need to do is I've already found the center point on this long piece of paracord here. So you're just going to start at one end, go behind the paracord, and uh, it doesn't really matter where you start right away because you can move, you, you'll be able to slide it up and down, but you're just going to start your uh, your Solomon here. So you're going to take your cord and put it behind the loop. Let's zoom in just a little for you on this. And then we're going to take the left or the right over the top of the two center cords. Pull that over. Got a lot of cord here because it's going to be a little extra long, longer than normal. And we're going to take our right piece over our left. You want to create a loop on the right side, by the way. I forgot to show you that. And then you're going to take your paracord over your right strand, behind the back, and through that loop there. And you want to pull this one nice and tight. Alright. Now whatever whatever side that you took over top, that's going to be the one that you take over top again. Because you're always going to go over with the same piece. So it was the left or it was the right side, so now we're going to make it the left side. So take that over. Remember to leave a loop. Bear with me, I got some real long pieces of paracord here. Take your right side over that go under, behind the back, and then through that loop. And you're just going to continue this, you're going to continue this all the way down. And I did the neon orange because a lot of hunters will use orange um, to let other hunters know that you're out there. Not a whole lot of it though, so it shouldn't affect anything. And since we went over top with the left side this time, we're going to do it with the right side. So create that loop over here that you're going to go through eventually. Go over the top. Take your left strand over the right, behind the back, and through that loop. And pull her tight. Now you don't want to pull this too tight because you want to be able to thread stuff through here so that you can hang it off, or hang, hang stuff off of it. So left over the, the, over the center. Go right over left, behind the back, and through. Pull it 
tight. And like I said, you could do any any kind of thing. This would this would not be a bad idea because it's already got the loops for you. That's a good one. But really, you could use any design as long as you it's loose enough to where you can get you know different things through there. You'll just use paracord to hang it off of. I've seen a couple tutorials on how to make a pouch for some hand sanitizer. Um, saw another one where a guy had a little thing that he can hang a, a little tube of chapstick from. Had it hanging from there. All kinds of stuff. Maybe your keys. You could hook your keys onto it. That's probably not a smart idea if you're trying not to attract deer. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. shouldn't take me too long. I'll be back to show you how to finish it so that you have a finished product. Okay, got it all the way down to the bottom. And uh, I don't know how long this is, but I would say it's a good 18 inches. Maybe a foot and a half here. Um, originally I had it quite a bit longer. So when I was getting close to the end, I noticed that it was going to be too long. So I just basically cut off the part where I fused them together cut a section of par paracord off of that and then I fused them together again took about six inches off the total length um, I'm getting down to my final tie here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna f do one more here pull that nice and tight and you can either tie an overhand, overhand knot right here or you can cut the ends off like I like to do and uh, melt the ends. So I started out with 18 feet and it looks like I cut about 14 feet or 4 feet of that off so I ended up with about 14, uh, 14 feet of paracord on this which is pretty good. Um, it only took me about 5 minutes to do. It didn't take long at all. The Cobra weave is probably the easiest weave you can do. Um, now also the nice thing with the Cobra is that you can, I didn't cinch this up at all when I was working on it so you could pull out some extra you know right there and you can move all of it down but uh, there it is that gives you two loops you can hook these on your uh, your overalls you can, if you got some buttons on your waders you can hook those on the buttons but that should give you plenty of paracord to hang all your lures uh, bird calls uh, duck calls deer calls whatever you've got or there, there's all kinds of uses for this but there it is um, that's the hunting slash fishing lanyard Hope you like it. I've been meaning to do this one for quite a while. Let me know what you think of it. Thanks for watching again, and paracord on.